Hi there. In this video we are going to be assembling and installing this God Morgon. I, I am sure that I will not get at least one of these names correct, but anyway, this is the code for it. It's a bedroom vanity and on top of it it will be a Odense Vic sink and an Anson uh, faucet. But I will show them as I install them. Now let's unbox this and start assembling it. This is what we have in the box. Uh, these are from the drawers themselves. I'm thinking these are from the back of it, some uh, connection rails. And for sure underneath we have uh, the bigger stuff. As you can see, really well packed. So uh, absolutely zero issues up until now. And yes, do not assemble this directly onto floor. Yes, this floor is dirty because this house is still partly under construction. I will assemble on the cardboard. So anyway, in theory, it's a job for two men and you need flathead, Phillips, crayon, a level and a ruler. And yeah, assemble onto something. If you have questions, call IKEA. So I will get everything out of here and put it uh, somewhere nicely tucked away aside and flatten this so I can assemble on top of it. Open this thing up. You have um, two rails for left side and two rails for right side. You have um, your uh, handles painted aluminum, quite nice and simple, honestly. And you have two bags. First step, open bag number one and uh, yep, go to next page and assemble these brackets with this number of screw, which obviously is in bag number one. So don't open both bags at the same time because you would have too many things and you can get confused. I'm not going to film putting every single one of these screws in, doesn't make sense. I will just show you the bigger steps like this number one assembled number two assembled three assembled so let me get to it step one completed started uh, to do step two these 14 uh, bolts uh, need to go in 14 holes as it's explained right here and do not over tighten them because it's really easy to break the surface. So just tighten them until they touch the surface. So let me do all of that. Just wanted to mention these things are not painted. This is a plastic sheet. You can even see it lifting a tiny bit while you are tightening the screw. When you tighten it down, it will tighten uh, the sheet back uh, into its position. But yeah, it's not paint. And these edges are uh, again a uh, plastic, a thicker plastic, obviously compared to this. This step is done. All the screws are in position. And now these four sheets, we are at this step, which is three actually. We need to put this wooden tiny uh, dowels, maybe, in place, in the ends, in the small holes. And in the bigger holes, we will put uh, these thingies, which are actually used to tighten onto this when we start assembling uh, things together. So let me put this in first. These things are ready. Uh, I used a, a little hammer to put them in place. They have an end, so they don't go deeper than this. This thing is obviously pop them right in here and all those four pieces will go onto the main one something like where are you like this and yes obviously oh sorry I cannot actually hold the phone while I try to do this uh, you just need to push it in place so that enters and then uh, tighten this and you are all good to go uh, good to go, <laughs> good to go, and do this for all four pieces. Make sure uh, you leave your uh, metal pieces on the inside 
of this thing and not on the outside. So this is the inside part for all of this. Step 6 is done. All of these are in place. I did not tighten uh, these things yet. I will fully tighten them after I push this in and uh, tighten all of them at the same time. Beware, do not push diagonally onto this thing. You could break it at this point quite easily. Now let's put the rest of uh, these things in these holes up top and obviously push this in place. Slowly with your hand it will go. You can see it going, but do it uh, uniformly or all around for all of them. These things have a little trick that show you how to install them. That arrow right there, when you first put them in, needs to be towards this piece, the piece that has the, the metal screw in it, and then you start tightening it, as this arrow shows you, and when it's fully tightened, the arrow points in the opposite direction from this uh, uh, main part. And it's exactly the same for all of them. So it's quite easy to keep track of what you tighten and, and uh, what not. Next thing I need to go and put this onto the wall. For the top uh, mounts, these ones, you need to be maximum 760 millimeter from your floor and 645 millimeter from your floor. And you will depend this on your height and where it feels right for you. Yes, at this point you can install the legs if you bought them and you want them. I didn't want legs, so I don't have any. Um, the legs will also tell you the height a bit uh, easier. For me, it's where I, I like to, to put it myself. They are showing you how to mark uh, your holes on the wall. Basically, I'm going to do that right now. Okay, getting ready to install this. Uh, Taking into consideration the recommended he uh, height from the manual, I think I'm going to drill la uh, right between these tiles because these are porcelain sandstone. Uh, yeah, it's it's tough. It's extremely tough and really difficult to drill through it. So if I can use at least part of uh, of this, I'm happy. It will drill much faster. Uh, with a diamond tip drill, it's yeah really complicated. Anyway, but that's about the the size. Yes, I will make sure it's level and uh, things like that. But the fact that these are all already level should help me a lot. So anyway, and we have a bit of adjustment. These things right here, you will see when we tighten it to the wall, actually allow us to adjust it a bit. So. Let me drill some holes into this thing. It will be fun. Okay, measured also the sink and it was uh, too high to actually use these things. So in the end we are dr uh, drilling right through the tile. We are using them in here. We will see if it's actually easier to drill between them or directly through them. In theory that, but I have no idea. With this type of drill, diamond tip, I, I never tried. So we will see now. Okay, and I drilled the first hole. It honestly cut like through cheese with this thing. Diamond coated on the angle grinder, special for this really tough thing. You cannot drill through it with this. Even the best new ones tried it, does not work. So I cut with this the initial hole and then drill with this through the brick deeper in there and put these things in and I think they will hold even a car if required. So let me get to that. Okay, getting ready to put this. Oh, I actually put this backwards in. It needs to be. Let me touch it around. With these edges towards these indentations in here, so you can adjust it on height as you need it to make sure it's level. But uh, as you can see, my screws are too thick, so I cannot use uh, this uh, slot hole. I will just use it, uh, the top part of it. And yeah, 
putting this in here drilled also the middle one like they show us in the manual and I will put a washer on this thing uh, right about now so I need to undo it and put the washer in and then yeah we will tighten everything uh, back up they are tightened now and uh, as long as this wall is in place they are not moving anywhere now to left rails to right uh, rails uh, we have the holes for them and the last screws from the first bag uh, I think they show us exactly in which of these holes we need to put the screws in the manual I wasn't paying attention so I will go now and check and they are in place awesome let's make some drawers for this thing a little bit of a funny thing as you can see bag number one is marked from the factory and they had somebody write number two on this bag hello there random worker that uh, wrote this so let's open this up and continue yeah we already did this and continue with the instructions from here on this would be fun prepared these uh, metal screws right in here and next I just need to tighten them so both 13 steps are here just another hint not sure what these uh, are probably just uh, some plastic that goes a bit in here and a bit in here so when tightening this at the ends make sure you hold on to the piece that uh, the metal screw is actually going into and not just to the whole thing because you could uh, damage this also did step 14 with the little wood pieces in the holes now I'm going to step 15 ok now we have the front of the drawer itself and you can see here the metal goes into the plastic retainers and the wood goes into the three holes and yes, uh, I needed to hammer this one uh, a bit in place. You can see some marks on the wood. This will be on the back of the drawer, so not uh, uh, seeable. I don't have a wood. Uh, uh, actually, I think it's a rubber uh, hammer at me at the moment. So I'm using this tiny hammer to make sure I don't crack the wood. So yeah, if you are lucky and have a heavier hand, you can beat them <laughs> into place, but I cannot. Okay, these things are in place. Uh, tighten, bless you. Tighten the screws. Uh, like they tell you here, make sure everything is in place before tightening. Then just slide in the back, which uh, goes in like this. And now we come with this piece and make sure it enters here and here. And uh, I think then we will just put some random screws in not yet that's a bit ah yeah screws so probably this type so let me do that and now with the included driver in bus i think it is we put these thingies in on both sides so i'm doing that now now we need to put some screws in here these ones with the round head not this one with the cone head so the bigger ones one on each side because we finished with this already so let's do that now for the middle uh, spacer we just put these plastic thingies uh, on the end on this end and one on the other end and it seems we load it and then rotate it for it to lock in place and the spacer is in place but uh, yeah it's a bit wobbly and we will see what we will do next but I'm not sure if we do anything about this maybe anyway you can move it wherever you want so you can still slide it around here you can readjust it uh, to your liking Okay, next we need to put these nice aluminum handles with uh, the, where are they, the tiny screws 
and we where are they here they are we have uh, holes pre drilled for them so let's put them. <coughs> take two put them in place and uh, tighten the screws in here and we are done with this particular drawer and the second one i'm not filming because it's 100 percent identical just a tiny bit smaller this is done and as you can see i'm losing light fairly quickly in here i'm going to go put out the rails one of the actually for both rails one pin will go into this hole right there and another pin from beneath will go somewhere in here here we have a hole and that should be about it for this drawer and then i will make the other one voila as you can see it's in place lowered on the rails one pin right here in the back and another one uh, underneath so now tada let's go make the second one forgot to do something on the first drawer you can you not really you can you need to click it in place underneath the rail you have that clicky click and you push on the plastic and it locks it in place i'm not going to do that now because we need still need to connect the plumbing for the sink itself so i might need to take the drawers out so for the moment i'm not going to do that i'm going to do it maybe in a few days when i finish everything i'm not sure i will see uh, now this is finished the second smaller one uh, yeah on both of them you have four of these uh, Little thing is that you actually glue somewhere around uh, the edge so they don't make contact edge to edge with the other thing. And we are going to go put this on the rails and if it does not line up, you have an adjustment on the rail itself to make them line up and stay uh, parallel to each other. And uh, that's about it. So I'm going to do that now. The top one closes uh, a bit less than the bottom one and I think this is adjustable through that thing right there which is the, the piston that makes the soft close. You can see it has a screw end on it. So that probably shortens its uh, travel, I, I think, probably, not sure. Uh, nope, I don't think you adjust what I was thinking from those, maybe the way they act or something like that, but not the distance and that wasn't the problem. The problem was that I forgot to put these rubbers. So this thing was basically uh, going enough in, but the other one was going too much in. So normally uh, for both of them, this is how much they should be going in. And as you can see, they are perfectly aligned and horizontally they are also perfectly aligned so now let's put in the sink and uh, the faucet itself and this is assembled everything is ready uh, but i need to do a modification to it uh, before the end of this video i'm taking this beam moving it right here for that boiler to fit right un under this and I will also be modifying uh, one of the drawers. So that's gonna be interesting. Yeah, because this is attached to the wall, obviously I cannot simply spread these out parts to get this out of here. So I needed to destroy the wood so it can actually go down. It's starting to go down, but I need to, uh, you can see it moving. So if one end goes down, then I can pull it out from the other end. So yeah, a bit destructive sadly, but nothing that I can do. Yep, so these are out, but we still have the wooden dowel in the middle and that's not going anywhere. So Varito from Einhell comes into play and I will simply slide this along and cut it. Which is awesome no other tool could do, do this nothing that i have could help me here the wooden doll that we cut with the varito it was the perfect tool for the job yes this is quite demolished because i didn't want to need to cut these things although as you can see in that one 
the original bait that I started with for the Varito already started cutting into but uh, maybe I can reuse, reuse these things for other purpose no reason to destroy them so yeah, this is a bit of damage but nothing that you can do about it and this is not in an area where you can actually see it so doesn't matter unscrew this and uh, see what I can do about this thing covered up the holes with some uh, insulation tape yes uh, not looking pretty because my insulation tape is really dirty from years of use on the outside so there's that and I'm just going to be gluing both sides and this whole edge to what we have here so glue there glue on this whole edge and glue here I'm not putting any other uh, attachments like we had before there no need honestly this is providing enough structural stability honestly I'm putting this second one in here with the glue <sighs> just because I can but it would even work without it for sure glue there glue there glue on this whole edge now just put everything back in place and continue working on the drawer Covering the remaining holes with uh, this type of uh, covers, I bought a few for the kitchen because I just hated. Uh, my, you can hear my daughter laughing in the background. I hated the unfinished look of the kitchen cabinets with many holes in them. Uh, in this part, yes, I banged up. Uh, sadly, I wasn't careful with my drill when I was destroying the. The wood so I banged it up quite a bit I will uh, cover it with some glue so it's uh, not uh, affected by humidity that easily and I will be also uh, covering the holes and here in the middle we have the, the wood dowel stuck in there so that's going to be again covered with glue like the other areas where I banged it up and a cover a plastic cover one of these for this hole right here in these ones uh, we have the rails, so this will be covered by the rails. Okay, so the glue will create a protective layer. I'm happy with the situation, doesn't look that good, but nobody will see it and it's protected. Glue on the edges, obviously there's glue between them in the middle, so this will hold quite well. Again, not necessary, but I just want it to be there. I don't have anything else to do with it, so why not? As you can see, everything looks much tidier now in here. Next step, cut the drawer. Started drilling holes through this because I want to attach some screws at the back of it. So the middle will be stuck to the rest of this. Also some screws from the bottom and at this end I will just use glue. No screws. And then uh, cut at least the bottom three ones and I will see if it still works if I leave the top two, uh, two ones in place if not I will cut even more or all of them who knows this side I intend <clears throat> this side I intend to leave in position because it should uh, basically just go right next to this thing and doesn't affect anything so no point on me wasting time to cut it but this has to go and also big part of the bottom has to go so let's get to it still need this hole to latch into the rail so this cannot go away fully I need to cut it here somewhere but this was too long then so I made a shorter one just to hold this piece in place but presumably uh, I will actually put also some glue in here in the joint and then this so yeah put that screws aside and uh, mark a line in here and cut these three of them already took this out so they should come out fully but then cut this part and put it back in here also through here drill some holes to attach it to the bottom this particular edge because it will not be held uh, properly together by this corner and uh, yeah continue and uh, put more and more screws and screws in here to keep everything uh, tight okay we need to cut these three right here 
changed the angle of the blade and hopefully I can do something like this and simply cut through them. Huh. Be back in a second, I will start cutting and see how it works and then if I can try to show you or not. Huh. Okay, as you can see really fine sawdust. This thing cut through it really easily but weirdly enough you actually have to push it a little bit in there. At first I was just keeping it at the first surface and it wasn't doing much. If you push it in there it's doing it. And honestly this is the ideal tool uh, for yeah, just bumped into it for small modifications weird modifications like this where something bigger cannot work in here and a, a pendular saw I think it's called would just tear this whole thing apart from the vibrations this has much uh, smaller but with a higher frequency vibration so this thing just doesn't care that I'm cutting from it it's not coming apart or anything so yeah let's continue step as you can see we are touching the bottom and now I need to measure how much I need to cut from the bottom in there but first part everything seems to be clearing just fine in there and no issues whatsoever which is a bonus I cut the initial line with this on the top I cannot cut deeper because I would cut into my toolbox which you can see down there red so I need to lift this uh, off it. It cuts really nicely. Yes, presumably I could do this with uh, other tools, but it would mean taking this whole thing apart. With Varito, I can cut on site. And yes, I need to cut another line on the edge. It's cutting really, really nicely. Let's see how everything fits in here. Papa. Eh? Isn't that nice? Papa. And my daughter here. Uh, watching what I'm doing <laughs> also needed to use that uh, element to gain height, height in here so I cut it uh, like this and now it's identical to the other ones but it's shorter because part of it is there and I also managed to cut myself with this I didn't use the varito to cut it because it was a, a long cut and I didn't have anything to hold this firm into position with and the varito doesn't really cut if this is also moving all around so yeah but I'm not uh, to be trusted with hand power tool tools with uh, electrical ones I'm good made some progress we have this in here screwed into one of the parts right here so every yeah, my daughter playing around putting stuff on uh, on this drawer uh, just need to attach them right here to this part and that will prevent it from moving also which will be perfect this one is also attached to the bottom because it wasn't reaching I will make a bit of uh, wood from what uh, remained out of it because that part again is right there we needed it and uh, yeah then just put on top what we cut from this thing and we should be done Yes, maybe tidy up a little bit in here, but doesn't look bad at all. <laughs> My daughter helping me once again. Okay, put this in place. One screw here, one screw here, and two of them in the back. And last detail, we will be gluing that piece in place right there. Uh, Diana, 
<laughs> my daughter a bit too enthusiastic and then I will see if I can cover this up with a, a bit of uh, plastic or uh, something else and phew, this is quite okay I wanted to put a screw through this but I don't think it makes sense glue in there it will never move even if you want to and honestly this whole thing it's sturdier now than it was before from uh, factory <laughs> And it's done. Maybe it's not perfect, but we haven't lost even a quarter of this space because, I don't know, a pack of wet wipes or something, wet tissues can stay on top of this, even a huge one for babies, for example. So less than a quarter of the space of this uh, was lost, which is perfect. If you want to see the underside, this is it. We still have this hole right here uh, for this clip on the rail, if my camera would focus on this. So that will go there. And yes, that's, uh, that's about it. Everything looks okay in my book, honestly. Yes, I needed to tailor cut a little bit from this. Some pieces there with that uh, thing right in the middle, not with the varito. Uh, didn't go that smoothly maybe I should have used the varito but uh, anyway it's done let's put it back and see if everything works daughter helping once again okay you can push now <laughs> uh, she doesn't want to push on camera putting her to sleep now <laughs> okay so <laughs> change of mind it's working perfectly. Wait, wait just a second. It's, I don't know, this gap is not bigger than the other gaps. We don't have any gaps at the bottom. So it's, honestly, it's perfect. And the boiler staying nicely tucked in there. Couldn't be happier with the situation. So this has been in use for about half a year in the small bedroom. Absolutely no problems with it whatsoever. So I do recommend you get it in case you like it. And if you have any questions, feel free to ask in the comments. And uh, I will do my best to answer. And next I will show you what I did in the main bedroom with a similar uh, piece of kit. Uh, and yes, obviously I put silicone all around uh, where it was mentioned in the user manual. The so the sink in the main bedroom together with this Godmorgon uh, sink cabinet are also finished. <sighs> For this one we went with a really cheap faucet. I think it was five times cheaper than the IKEA one. I it was an impulse buy. It's probably crap. Uh, and feel free to ask me in the comments if it's crap or not, not but it looked quite good. Uh, yeah, it's a calcar magnet with this brushed uh, finish on it, but hey, we'll use it. I, I paid for it. No way, no way to return it back. It's been bought a year ago, I think. So we'll be using it. When it fails, probably I will go with an IKEA product just to make sure it lasts a lot. But for the moment, this has been in use for about a week, no issues whatsoever. On the underside, everything is absolutely perfect. We also have uh, this boiler under this one, modified this also and added this lip right here so my wife can put her uh, eyeliner or whatever it's called, easy to find. And uh, yeah, next I will also install the top uh, uh, drawer. But good products IKEA. This is also in, everything fitting perfectly. Obviously I put silicone all around where uh, the manual tells us to put it. That was quite annoying because this is dark and any, any mishap would show up really badly, but managed to do it in the end. And uh, there's really a lot of space. Oh, forgot to put the dividers in, so we'll get back to you in a second. But there's huge amount of space in in these uh, shelves. 
the dividers are also in and again about the storage space in these drawers not shelves who used the wrong term there is huge the wife will be really pleased about that and just in case i forgot to show you i love this type of connections that they did so they didn't need to have way too long pieces of wood they could use shorter ones and just uh, glue them together so hey little daughter just a moment overall i love this thing yes work in progress in this bedroom it's really good quality does exactly what it says it does easy to clean highly recommend you to get it so hope this video helps you in which case please give it a like check out my other videos and as always see you in the next one bye just in case you wanted to see the whole thing in its uh, full glorious beauty in an unfinished bathroom anyway bye